take a look here at rearranging um, linear quadratic equations. This is the most um, uh, common ones that we'll be working with uh, in the course. And they're often given in different forms depending on the purpose of the equation. Um, especially the quadratics, you'll see that they come in a couple different forms and the different forms have different usefulnesses and they give us uh, information um, that depending on the form is a little bit different. So we'll start with some linear equations. So linear in general, you're going to look at an equation that's y equals mx plus b. Um, you would look at that a little bit in grade 9. Um, M and B are going to be some numbers, and then Y and X are going to be the two variables, uh, the two letters that are still in the equation um, all the time. So we take a look at this first one. We have 3X equals 2Y minus 4. So we want to make it look like this Y equals equation. So to do that, we got to get the Y by itself. Well, if we move the negative 4 over to the other side, we can get the Y a little closer to being by itself. We have 3x plus 4 equals 2y. Now, we're multiplying by 2 here, so we move it over and we need to divide it. And when, again, when we divide on the other side, we have to divide everything by 2. So we'll have 3x plus 4 divided by 2 equals y. Now, in most cases, this here can be simply often broken up and simplified down. So we can write this the other way, which is 3x over 2 plus 4 over 2 equals y. And this will give us something a little more useful because 4 divided by 2 is 2. And so we have 3x, or sorry, 3 over 2x plus 2 equals y. This here is a little simpler of an equation. It might help us out a little bit uh, when we go to use this for like graphing or something like that. So don't leave it with the big bar when you're doing the linear equations or the, when you get to the other type, which is quadratic. We'll look at that in a minute. Break it up over the two. If you want to, you can skip this step here and just go right to here where you break it up over the two cases. We'll take a look at another example here. I have negative 8x minus 4y equals 2. So we're getting the y by itself. So we have negative 4y equals 2. And moving that negative 8x over, it's 2 plus 8x. And then we'll divide by the negative 4 here as it's being multiplied by the y. y equals 2 over negative 4 plus 8 over negative 4x. Well, 2 divided by negative 4 that's going to give us negative 1 half. And 8 divided by negative 4 is going to give us negative 2. And since it's adding a negative 2, that's just like subtracting 2. And we can write it negative 1 half minus 2x. So that's the linear equations. Again, making sure you're breaking that up over the, uh, the numbers if you have to divide there. Be careful with your signs. Now when we move over to the quadratic, this is uh, going to be a little new. Uh, we won't go too, too in depth with it, but um, the basic idea here is that with quadratics, you have a general form that looks like this. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are going to be the numbers, and x and y are going to be the letters in the equation. So. We want to get this to look like this, with a y equals. So what we can do in the first step here is we'll move that 6x squared over. It's plus 6x squared. The opposite of plus 6x squared would be minus 6x squared. So 3y equals 9x plus 12 minus 6x squared. And then everything needs to get divided by that 3. So y equals 9 over 3x plus 12 over 3 minus 6 over 3x squared. And we end up with y equals 3x plus 4 minus 2x squared. 
Now to make it look just like this one up here, and I'll just kind of block that off, what we'll do is we'll just rearrange that a little bit. Y equals, move that negative 2x squared first, then a positive 3x plus 4. And that there will give us a nice looking equation. If you get it and you just don't have the same order, that's okay, but it is preferable to have x squared x and then no x uh, arranged in that order. In that, in that way, when we get to uh, a later section when we're doing what's called factoring, you'll be able to uh, factor much more uh, effectively. <coughs> now, one more example here. We have uh, 4x plus 14x squared equals 10 minus 2y. So again, looking to get this y by itself, let's move this 10 over. 4x plus 14x squared minus 10 equals negative 2y. And then let's get rid of that negative 2 again by dividing everything by the 2. So 4 over negative 2x plus 14 over negative 2x squared minus 10 over negative 2 equals y. This becomes negative 2x minus 7 x squared and the two negatives will end up making that a positive plus 5 equals y. And then again, just to get that in order, let's just flip these two uh, around here. So 7x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals y. And there's your equation there. Make sure, again, you're always looking to divide everything by the number that's associated with the y when you if you come to a situation where you have to divide. We'll spend a little more time on quadratics in the coming uh, sections. But for now, we just want to work on rearranging these equations to make them uh, look either like this, or in the case of linear, like the y equals mx plus b.